okay, we have our walkthrough, we made a path, um, and now it shows up in our project browser, and voila, we are here. Uh, so it's not exciting to look at right now, um, but I kind of want to, we basically need to move our camera paths um, to see it again. So if we select the walkthrough, we, can only, we have to actually select the border or the edge. I need to edit to walk through. Um, and now I should be able to see it on my ground floor view, or if you're in a 3D view, you'll be able to see it there as well, either from the top where you see the path, um, or if you look at it from the side, you'll see the height. Um, now, if you notice on the camera, on this little camera here, there's a little red dot. Let me zoom in here. There's a little red dot. Basically, is the handle of the camera basically lets it point a different direction. So looking at it from the top, I want it to point at the building. Um, and now, is that the view that I want? I'm not sure. I could click back and forth and look at the walkthrough and go, oh, okay, I'm pointing at the building, but I'm kind of looking over the top of it. So now if I go to my 3D view, uh, well, if I if I turn this and I look at this this way, maybe if I turn it to the side a little bit, I still have the same handle, but now I can grab it and look pan down. You can do this from an elevation view as well, which will keep you in the strictly adjusting the height. I'm in a 3D view, so you can kind of adjust both a little bit. Um, and now I check my walk through and say, okay, that's that's better, but not great. I kind of screwed up the direction here back on the ground floor. So I want to fix that direction. You may want to fix height and then fix um, which way it's pointing. And you want to make sure this part is how far the camera sees. If I don't put this all the way through the building, my walkthrough, it cuts it off. That's kind of the end of the view. So you want to make sure you do put that all the way through all the things you want to see uh, to make sure that's all the way through the building. Okay, now it's kind of getting, getting kind of getting cumbersome. Uh, yeah, it looks better. It's kind of getting cumbersome. Keep going back and forth between. So I'm going to change my view. I'm going to take these three tabs, 3D, ground floor, and the walkthrough, and go to tile views, which is basically going to, well, tile the views. So I can see, here's my ground floor. Um, if I zoom out, here's the 3D view where I can adjust the heights. And here is the walk through itself and i'm pressing on the center wheel to kind of pan and move it over so as i adjust one to the next now i can see them update um, without clicking back and forth between tabs so if i go back through editing my walk through here's the annoying thing i want to get to uh, the walk through again right so i click on this point go to the next one and it goes oh do you want to quit editing like no i want to edit right I don't just click on it do the thing goes oh do you want to quit editing i want to do the opposite of that super frustrating um so revit 2021 autodesk if you're watching and listening make me able to click that and just go to it for now for after lots of frustration i realized next keyframe ta-da and you go to the next camera um, and this is why you want to place only as many of these as you need because however many you place, you're going to have to adjust. So I point that back at the camera, um, and depending which way I'm looking here, I can grab this and point down. There we go. That's a better image. And again, over here and adjust that. Cool. So basically, you go through and adjust your keyframes and move your cameras so they're pointing how you want them to point. Um, and you may have to move your 3D view accordingly and adjust up, down, et cetera, and take a look at your walkthrough um, and see them update as you go.